Hello, welcome to Sustainable Building Systems. I'm Margaret, and I'm really excited about this class. Um, sustainability is what I care about. It's the focus of my research and writing, and um, I hope that you're going to learn a lot about sustainability and sustainable buildings in this class. When you first open Moodle, it should look like this. And um, I want to point out, if you're not familiar with the way this particular class is set up, along the right side of the page are some um, what information things from the computer people about how to use Zoom and how to get online help and where the student help desk is and all that kind of stuff. So um, have a look over there if you need that. Um, at the top of the page here, it says start here. So let's start here and let's work down. Oh, it's doing that thing where it's grabbing my mouse. I hate that. Okay, so uh, moving down, the first thing we come to is the syllabus and the syllabus schedule. So when you click on that syllabus, it will look like this. And um, we don't have any set meeting times, so we don't have a particular office hour. Um, our office hours are 24 seven. I am all yours all the time, unless I'm asleep. <laughs> so uh, send me an email. Um, I will respond right away. If you want to get together by Zoom and talk about something, we can easily do that. It says there's a required text here, but uh, it's not actually required. I put that in there so that if you have financial aid, you'll be able to buy the book, but you do not need that book in order to be successful in this class. I'm giving you everything you need. I, I will just point out that um, I think that after doing this class, you would be able to pass an exam called the Lead Green Associate, and our textbook happens to be the Lead Green Associate exam prep guide. So if that's a path you want to go down, uh, then you might want to buy the book. Okie dokie. Um, going through policies about grading and so forth, we don't have any drawings at all, even though this is a drafting class. We have only quizzes and research. And um, the quizzes are all open book. They're not timed. Um, you can do them more than once. So if you, if you didn't get something right, you can go back and do it again. The exams are basically quizzes. <laughs> and you can do them now if you want to. Let's see. Um, I wanted to point out a couple of things. Um, Please stay in regular contact with your advisor. If you're in um, construction or drafting, Cheryl is your advisor. If you're in sustainability, it might be Claudia, I'm not sure. But stay in touch with your advisor uh, at least once a term. And um, about disabilities. Abilities and learning styles come on a whole spectrum. And at, uh, in one place in the spectrum, you might have a diagnosable disability. Um, if you have a diagnosis, you can go to the Accessible Resources Center and get accommodations of various sorts. But if you don't have that, don't let it stop you. I take this really, really seriously. And if you have anything that is making it difficult for you, let me know. We will figure something out. Um, an example that pops into my head, when I was in grad school in landscape architecture, um, and you know, grad school is rather challenging when you do a lot of reading. There was a grad student who had severe dyslexia. He, he truly could not read. Um, or write. I saw him try and you could tell he just could not do it. And so the professors found a way to let him do research and communicate his findings 
using drawings. It was quite interesting. So it's possible. Anyhow, uh, then right under the syllabus is the schedule, and it looks like this. And uh, a, a lot of what we do in green buildings and sustainable, uh, sustainable buildings is related to a rating system called LEED, L-E-E-D. And I have organized our class uh, according to the categories that you find in the LEED rating system. Except for the first week, we're going to just start with getting an overview of why are we doing this. Uh, you, you will notice no drawings in the assignments. We have just our research, which we'll talk about later, and then quizzes. And as I mentioned, you can do the quizzes more than once. And the quizzes do not have due dates. As long as you get them done by that first Tuesday of finals week, you're good. And that includes the midterm quiz and the final quiz also. They are just other quizzes. Um, the components of the research project do have some due dates, some milestones, which I've marked here. We'll talk about that in another PowerPoint. The one um, due date you need to pay attention to right now is this introduction forum, which is right here under the course fora or forums. Um, because we don't meet in person, we don't take attendance. And so um, we need a way of knowing that you really did intend to take this class and you didn't just accidentally sign up and now you're getting a bill. So to do to, to handle that, um, you make a post in this introduction forum by midnight on Sunday, and then we know that, yeah, you're really in the class and you will not get administratively dropped. That's what that's about. All right. Let's go back to our class here. So scrolling down, you will notice that, oops, sorry, you will notice that um, the class is organized by week. And all of these weeks are available to you now. So if you want to blast through them faster than 10 weeks, that is totally fine. Do this at whatever high rate of speed you would like to, if, if that's your thing. Here's week one. And notice at the start of week one, there's that introductions forum. We, we, we must do that by Sunday. Then, uh, Things are divided by topics. So here's the first topic, getting some context. And here's this thing, Moodle calls this a page. So we click on that page. And here are some slides. Here is a handout. In a lot of the weeks, I have given you an outline just to help you keep track of uh, how the slides are organized and how we'll be going through them. And then the lecture is a YouTube video of me talking about the slides. And uh, one approach that I recommend is download these slides to your computer so that you have them and the outline too. But then watch the video because I will talk about topics in greater detail in the video. We'll use the slides uh, as our framework but I will say more things. So here we are, we're in this first topic. And now for navigation, if you uh, haven't seen this before, there are arrows at the bottom that will take you, this one goes forward to the next topic. All right, there we are in the next topic. And we could hit the back arrow and go back to that previous topic we were in. Or we could use what are called breadcrumbs, these things at the top. So here we are right now, we're sitting on topic two. We could click week one, and that will take us back to where we came from week one. Um, in week one, we do have one quiz and then uh, and the introduction forum. And we have research projects. And um, there's a separate video in here that talks about 
um, how to approach this research. But I call your attention to this forum. This is your first um, milestone with this research project. You're going to go to that forum and sign up. Uh, just say, my mini topic is this, and my final topic is that. And you need to do that by April 5th, which I think is next Tuesday. One other point about navigation is this thingy over here. Um, the computer people call this a hamburger. You could call it a menu stack. And this uh, hamburger or menu stack opens and closes this list of stuff over here on the left. So if you come to your Moodle page and you say, oh my gosh, that list is gone and I don't know how to check my grades. I think that's where you check your grades. Click the hamburger boop, and they appear again. Um, so we were in week one here. Um, we did an intro forum. We did a quiz. We signed up for the topics. Then we start working our way through some more topics. In week two, we'll find out, okay, what is this lead thing we're talking about? And how does that apply to our buildings? And in week three, we start learning about solar heating. In week four, you have a milestone for your research project, which is to turn in an outline, which can be really rough, and a preliminary list of sources you think you're going to use. And um, in week four here, I have made a video for you that talks about how to approach this. First of all, if you think you have a topic, how do you figure out what in that topic you might do? And I think one example I used in here was, let's say your topic, you want your topic to be um, solar panels. As it turns out, that is a huge, vast topic. So you will really need to, and I don't recommend that as a topic, but that's a, you, you can choose it if you want. Um, how do you narrow that down? And then, uh, how do you how do you make an outline? So you've got this topic, this thing. How do you figure out what exactly you are going to talk about? And this video steps you through how to approach that. So even if it is, I'm going to use my breadcrumbs and go back to week four. Even if it is in week four, under research project outline. Um, you might want to, here we are in week one, you might want to jump down here and watch that now just to begin thinking about how can you organize your thoughts. Then um, when we all finish our, our um, mini topics and our final projects, we will put them in a Google shared drive here is our Google Shared Drive for this class. And in the separate video I showed you, uh, I think it was in the research project video, I showed you where this thing is. And then at the start of our Moodle class, I even give you an introductory video about how the heck do you get to Google anyway? Because not all of us are as familiar as others. All right, there we are. Please stay in touch. Uh, let's talk to each other um, both through this Q&A forum. Post as much as you want there. If you have an individual issue or topic, send me an email. Um, this is going to be a good term, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I hope you have a good term, too. All right. See you soon.